Yo, it's Gale, guys. Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are here with some brand new freaking hype because we have unlocked a new activity. Now, I'm just going to say disclaimer, though, before we get more into the video, this is going to have massive, massive, massive story spoilers. So do not watch this if you want to kind of experience it yourself. Don't watch it, of course, if you want to do the campaign and everything, because there's going to be some parts of that you'll see. Do not watch this if you don't want to be spoiled. That's 100%. That's it. If you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch it. That's all I got to say. But the Salvation's Edge raid has been beaten by Team Parabellum. Congratulations to them, of course. Big congrats. I love seeing a new team winning. But as I said, because they have won it, it has unlocked a brand new sort of activity that we can doing boys as i said this thing is super dope because it's gonna be a freaking 12 man encounter oh my god it's gonna be so sick if you want to get to it of course you can fly all the way over here anyone can do this now as well and it is gonna be a 12 person activity so it's gonna be super sick ago, one fire team infiltrated the witness's monolith and shattered its hold on the traveler's light. Their courage bought us one last chance to finish this. But the witness still lives. The Guardians and their ghosts will face the Witness. While we eliminate the remainder of its forces, our final chance at freedom lies on that field. This enemy has taken so much from us all. Elixni. Cabal, awoken, humanity, I've, the witness started this war long ago, but now, we end it. I mean, if that cutscene didn't get you hyped for what's to come, I don't know what freaking well. That was insane. <laughs> so freaking everyone has showed up. It's like Avengers all over again. Oh my god, it is Avengers all over again. <laughs> hey, Kyle. And look at the amount of us go in. Oh, this is gonna be so freaking sick. Well, basically, because they obviously beat the final shape, we have pushed the witness back a little bit, and now we're just basically just 12 man assaulting his ass. <laughs> oh, we ain't letting them leave, boys. Freaking, uh, what's uh, Mitrax is here too? Oh my god, the whole gang is here. Now, guys, we need to get rid of all these crap. We have, we, we have light bearer. Oh, Savage dude's here. Savage Thick has joined us as well. Wow, oh, the whole gang's here. We legit have an Avengers level threat right now. <laughs> oh man, this is so sick, All right, boys? There is a big ass freaking torment up top. Anyone have like a freaking LMG for his ass? No. Uh, get his ass real quick, boys. I really do like though that we're all just chilling over here. And someone died. What? Are we meant to be doing? Oh, we are. Okay, boys, don't worry. I'll go up right with game chumps. Me and game chumps will freaking tank the right side. You take the left, and oh, there's a tormentor. Yo, game chumps, I got your back, buddy. All right, we are probably not going to kill this thing by ourselves because I have no super. They could have spawned me in with a freaking rally or something like that, so I have some ammo and crap. Oh, we got now, though. Don't, don't worry, boys. Chest is broke. Chest is broke. And I feel like I'm raiding all over again with tormentors. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, I will say, this is so freaking sick. I mean, I heard rumors, of course, of... Uh, oh, we're going to finish this guy's ass off. I heard rumors of a 12-man uh, kind of raid or something coming around, but I had no idea they would actually implement it. This is so freaking sick. This reminds me, obviously, when people were able to raid with, like, 12 people as a glitch. This is so dope, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's so freaking cool. Look at this guy, though. Ooh. Ooh, come on, boys. Let's just roll on in. <laughs> I, I, I'm just waiting for us all, like, to do this on a guy. Just freaking tank his ass. All 12 is just jumping on. Imagine 12 thunder crashes coming at this guy's ass. He would have no chance. Uh, super ass, dude. Don't worry, boys. We got some. We got some. <laughs> just getting absolutely railed. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, but I fell. Oh, my God. There's just so much kind of crap going on. There's so many subjugators coming in as well. This is so freaking sick. <laughs> if this does not get you hyped up to try an event, I don't know what will. Oh, my God. I'm frozen. Am I the only one to get frozen there? 
Oh, Savathik is here. Oh my god, she's freaking huge. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. And there's... Okay, there is... Okay, guys, I've got the healing turret in. I wonder if that'll heal all 12 of my freaking friends here. Because it does heal everybody. <laughs> It'd be freaking nuts if it was just healing everyone. I have, like, the worst kind of setup for subjugators, really. Because I can't hit crits with this thing. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. You got his ass. Get him. Get him. Keep your focus on the witness. Empress Mithra, Sabathun. Witness forces are closing in. Help me stop them. Oh... She gone. Everyone gone, boys. It's just us. It's just us now. It's just us. I actually feel like I'm in like a Final Fantasy uh, 14 raid. Oh my god. Holy god, this looks so sick. <laughs> Look at his head. Oh my god. Boys, some is on the right. Some Gators again. Oh, we need to go freaking ham. Oh, everyone's just gonna start popping with their prismatic now. <laughs> Look at us all transcend at the same time. Oh man, this is so damn sick. I'm not gonna lie. I did not expect to get this after the freaking shape or uh, the Raiders beat. This is so freaking dope. Hey boys, we got one subjugator down. Did you just deal with the one on the left? Don't worry, boys. The Vengeance freaking backup has arrived now. We're here at. Oh, he's gonna slam our ass, boys. Boys, watch out. Oh, who was that hero? Oh my god, he actually suspended him midair. What a hero. <laughs> oh man, this is this is, this is so sick. I, I cannot lie. This is something you're going to have to probably do anyway to uh, draw travelers. Is there raid mechanics or something in this? I, I, I don't have the brain capacity right now. I spent hours in that stupid first encounter. I don't think he passed me to do more raid encounters. Oh, we spawned in some freaking tractor can. Oh, he's actually here to fight? Please tell me he does something. Please tell me he's not just here to freaking, you know, cheer, cheer us. Okay, he's not here. <laughs> I thought he was actually fine. I wanted to come in with a freaking raise lighter and absolutely blast someone's ass. Oh my God. We actually have some raid stuff as well. All these hands and everything. Oh my God, looks so sick. I mean, the witness is... I know people were memeing on him saying he looked like a stupid ass boss and everything, but he is, he's so sick for this type of game. I mean, have we ever had something this freaking massive and like, just so cool. Like I know Oryx was huge and like obviously Sabathun and everything, but I don't think we've ever had something like this. And oh my God, no boys, no way. <laughs> oh, let's go boys. The prophecies are foretold. Everyone's like, oh, we just have to slice and dice all these freaking things. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, 12 just got nailed. Oh, that is so sick. Everyone, are we going to kill all like 200 of these freaking things? Oh, that is so dope. I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting that. And oh, what the hell is this? Oh, boys, we're going up. Oh, we going in. And oh, he has crits, boys. He's got crits. There we go. DPS face, boys. DPS. Don't worry. I've got the rift up. I've got a rift. Nobody popped a bubble on my face. Oh, his chest's open. <laughs> I'm like the worst thing in the world for this. They have to use this instead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Uh... <laughs> Did we actually get squad wiped? He just one top the soul. Don't worry, boys. Apparently, we're going back up. All right, we need to dip when he goes to do that, okay? You dip when he goes to freaking do that. His hand starts to move, and... Okay, we dip off there for a sec. Ah, then we go back up. Boys, come on. It's, it's simple mechanics. Let's get it right. And why is my gun still loading? <laughs> and there we go. There's DPS phase over. Don't worry, boys. Decent DPS phase, decent DPS. We could be better. Of course, there's freaking 12 of us and we could only take a quarter. But you know what? It's all good. It's all freaking good. Uh, prismatic and up again. You can see everyone transcending. <laughs> I love that. As soon as you start, see all these, everyone is here. It's everyone's just freaking going ham. Uh, I'm telling you, this is, this is legit so sick. This is one of my funnest events I don't think, I think I've ever really done. Like strikes and everything and obviously dungeons can be fun and whatnot, but... It's just so cool. And it's a real good kind of casual kind of game mode as well. So, like, I'm not stressing too much. Like, you can see, when you die, you just respawn and everything. So, it's nothing, like, too difficult. But it is hella sick. And, guys, you took my head. You took everyone out calling out, guys. Come on, we're a team. Oh, you can't even charge your super. Is this what the unending darkness is? Do I have to stay in St. 14's bubble? No, you just can't charge your super anymore. What the hell? He's actually cancelled the light out. Can I... Wait, if I went... If I went dark... Here's big brain moves, boys. Big brain moves. That has worked. <laughs> I was hoping that I'd be able to charge my super. I went dark mode, but apparently that doesn't freaking work. 
Man, there's just so many enemies. And can my game load my freaking rifle in? What is this? Oh my god. But I will still say, yeah, this hell game mode. It is hella dope. And oh, I am getting my... Okay, I'm getting my super now. Oh, the darkness is gone. Darkness is gone. Got a slice of dice, boys. Give me your ass. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Look at all the crumbling. <laughs> oh, we can go further back now? Oh my god, we can. <laughs> I mean, King Joy. Let's go. Excalibur freaking slice. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, whatever bit, maybe other DLCs and all that. Did we ever get to just go ham with freaking swords and stuff like that? I don't freaking think so, right? Heavy it up, boys, and let's go freaking in. There's weapons of light and saint. We go in, we freaking nail. And okay, my gun still hasn't freaking loaded. Okay, guys, I don't know how to know if what attack he's going to do, but if you see a big ass hand come in at you, you should probably dip for a sec like this. And someone actually died. <laughs> Guys. Wait, you can actually dodge it on the platform? All right. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't do it. Maybe we should have seen where the, uh, where the hell it's going. Uh, we keep going, though. This is a linear fu or a fusion rifle, by the way. Oh, okay. okay. It is. It's basically just like Final Fantasy 14. It's like AoE effects. And oh. I didn't think he did the double hit. I I'm not going to lie. I did not think he did the double hit. <laughs> Man, I'm so bad at PvE. Oh, but look at that. See, jumping off actually made a difference. And let me just freaking jump up right nice and quickly. Uh, this is probably going to be the end of the phase, though. There we go. We dropped off. All right, boys. One last freaking go. Let's go. All 12 of us. Let's just slice and dice the last few. And oh, my God. We actually gone through so many of them. <laughs> Wait, do we, do we get all of them now? Oh, you don't get the back ones. <laughs> I assume the back ones right here prior to the final stand or something like that. I don't freaking know. But oh, my God. There's so much. So many, look at how big the space is now as well. At the start, we were all slicing the same ones. Now, because it's so freaking big, you can't. <laughs> the carnage. Oh, my God. All right, boys. Let's just absolutely rail this guy, okay? Just absolutely ruin him. He doesn't come back. He never freaking bothers us again. Here we go. Oh, boys down the left. There we go. Open up his chest. Open up the chest, buddy. Open up the chest. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, I'm doing so much more damage there. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, final freaking damage. Final stage, boys. Oh, we keep going. We keep going. Don't die, boys. Do not die. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, it's changing up. It's changing it up. Uh, call to ghost. Everyone just whipping their ghost out? Everyone whip their ghost out. Give them your power. I don't know what we're doing with the ghost, but... Oh, don't tell me we're going to kill our ghost, huh? Oh my god, we're just coming out of heaven. Our ghost is dying? What are we killing our ghost for? What? Uh, I mean, it's pretty sick and all. Nine, nine. Oh my god, look at all the nines. <laughs> Did we just sacrifice our ghost? Uh, I have no idea, but this is pretty damn freaking sick. <laughs> there goes the witness, boys. Get the hell out of here. Oh god, he actually is like full done. Oh, boys. We did it. And our ghost lives. Our ghost freaking lives. Can I do that move again? Oh, my God. It changed my super icon to the Destiny logo. Oh, that is it. Exotic Gengar? Oh, you got a free exotic for it. <laughs> I thought we were getting the new exotic, but oh, that was so sick, honestly. He sure shined bright back there, huh? Cade? 
need. What comes from the light returns to the light. My gal Sundance told me that. She also said we're all connected. Guardians, ghosts, the traveler. Now you tell the others this was my choice. My life. Nobody makes my fate but me. You're my favorite. Don't ever forget that. Guardian. There you are. It's definitely healing, but we've still got a lot of work to do. Surviving witness forces, clashes with the Lucent Brood. So much change. We've been fighting for so long. And now, we've won. I thought it would feel... different. Well... Maybe because we haven't celebrated it yet. Guardian. Ghost. You're just in time. Tell them... Cade wouldn't let a little work get in the way of having a good time. <laughs> You're right. For now, our task is appreciating this moment. And after that... We'll face the future when it comes.
Witnesses' death spread like a shockwave through its troops. The instant it was destroyed, things shifted. Most of the Witnesses' followers fled when it fell, but its most zealous believers are still carrying out its last orders. Ziva Orath is still out there, mortal, moving in the shadows. How salvation has turned on itself, with Aramis nowhere to be seen. Savathun and the Lucent Brood are trying to claim control of the Pale Heart. With the Witness dead, both Scorn and Taken are directionless. To put it simply, in the wake of the Witness, a power vacuum has been created in the universe. Who knows what will try to fill it. But out of all of this, the most worrying thing is an aurora. It's bleeding out of the Traveler. Light and darkness venting into open space over Earth. We designated a no-fly zone within 100 kilometers of the aurora, enforced by Alliance cruisers. So far, no one has tested it. During the initial formation of the aurora, a piece of anomalous matter erupted from the Traveler moving away at relativistic speeds. We tracked one out to a distance between Neptune and Jupiter, in the orbital path of Nessus. Then we lost track of it. I've got hunters in the field investigating. Thank you, Crow. I'll leave it to you. Copy that. I'm headed back out to the field myself. I... need to see if I can pick up Fickrell's trail. Find out what's going on with the Scorn. Keep me updated. And good work. Well, that's it for me and of course the 12 man raid sort of event the excision game mode you can now do in destiny once you beat the campaign of course you gotta beat the campaign i think due to still hunt quest but once you do that you will of course be able to do this excision 12 man raid thing guys you can see it's so dope the cutscenes as well are insanely good i mean i nearly cried i'm not gonna lie it was enough to make a grown man freaking cry but to be honest, it was such a fitting end to a game for uh, that's been going on for like 10 years. Because it's Light and uh, Darkness Saga. That was such a good ending to how it was all meant to be. I couldn't really ask for a better ending to the whole saga. I mean, that was honestly so, so dope. I mean, the whole thing of getting all the people together in terms of the Cabal, the freaking Awoken with, of course, the Hive a little bit. And obviously the Eliskni. Everyone coming together to defeat it, just like Avengers level. It, it was, it's so dope. As I said, I've been loving the story beats so far, of course. Of Destiny the last like year or two, but this final shape, the narrative team absolutely destroyed it in terms of they made it so good. I mean, I shouldn't use destroy, that makes it sound bad. They absolutely nailed it though. The narrative of this season or this campaign is insanely good. Of course, the audio and everything is dope too. All the mechanics, all the kind of environments. This whole DLC, for me, it's the best one that we've gotten so far. It's fitting because it's the last, but this beats Forsaken for me. There's so much to do, there's so many cool things you can do as well. So many cool weapons, so many cool abilities, and it's just by far for me the best DLC we've gotten from Destiny. So yeah, 100% the final shape, guys. If you've been hesitant on buying it, I understand because of the price tag and everything. But what I will say is that if you've been playing the game for many, many years, this is the best way to end it. Like you could play this campaign and play this whole kind of DLC and then not really care about the echoes. If you really are interested, you could, but this is the best way to end, I'm telling you. This is how you close yourself off, break free from those chains. As soon as you see the cutscene or the end cutscene, you break the chains off you and say, I'm free from destiny. But this is a hella dope DLC. So yeah, 100% boys. If you want to try out this mission, as I said, hop in, do the campaign, finish the campaign off. And of course, you will just have to go to the Pale Heart, go to the far right, and you'll see the excision event. But, oh man, that was, that was honestly so good. Holy God, Bungie have done really really well congrats to the dev team and everything they did really 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 well of course with this dlc but regardless if you like the video show us like and you want to see more content subscribe for fantastic day and hopefully i'll see the next collective in the next one